So this is my pomegranate molasses, smoked goat shoulder and dolce de leche barbecue sauce tacos with quick pink pickled onions. Hi, uh, my name's Jen. I'm here for sous chef today to talk you through some amazing smoker recipes, something you can do this summer. Um, we're going to be using the Pro Q Frontier Tower Smoker um, and we're going to start with an amazing goat shoulder. Um, goat is not something you normally see that often in the supermarkets, but it is quite easy to get. It's one of my all-time favourite meats and we should be eating more of it because it is regularly seen as just a byproduct of the cheese industry, uh, but it's so delicious. Um, so we've got a little goat shoulder here, it's about two kilos. Um, this is what we're going to smoke for about four hours and we've got an amazing rub to go on it. First of all, what we need to do is just trim off any bits that are so thin that they just overcook um, and be waste so we're just going to get rid of that and other than that this goat is pretty good to go if there's any big sinewy parts you can take them off but yeah that's perfect so what we're going to do is the most important thing with barbecue is that you season with salt first and then usually sugar um, and something like black pepper other kinds of rubs but the most simple version is just salt sugar and pepper so what we're going to do is we're going to start with salt We've just got a flaky sea salt, but you can use pretty much anything really. Be generous because a lot of it will fall off when you're smoking and you want to get it all the way through. Get it everywhere. Just like that. Make sure you get it in all the crevices. Now what we're going to do is we're going to leave it now for about two to three minutes. And what will happen is the surface of the goat will start to sweat. And what that will do is it will... Um, start to dissolve the salt and that gives you a better layer to put your seasonings on later it makes it all stick if you take a look at the surface over here you'll see that it's it's got it's quite wet it's started to sweat a little bit that's what i mean by giving you a nice surface to start everything on so we're going to rub ours now with some pomegranate molasses now when i said earlier that you season with sugar we're going to accent that with a little bit of sour as well with this amazing pomegranate molasses it's so good because it's such a rich flavor goat like i said very similar to lamb so that sour sweet thing will work really really well so we're going to rub that everywhere same as we did with the salt you want to make sure you get it in all all places this will form a really nice kind of crust later give you that um caramelized effect which we call the maillard reaction which is what makes meat go nice and brown and taste like umami and roasted okay so then in a bowl here we're going to do our other seasonings so in mexico there's um a sauce called cajeta which is very similar to dulce de leche like a caramel sauce and it's flavored with cinnamon and we're going to add that later to our barbecue sauce when we turn this lovely goat into tacos so we're going to accent that flavor now as well with some cinnamon we've got a tablespoon of cinnamon we've got two tablespoons of cumin the recipes on the site don't worry and we've got some brown sugar and cracked black pepper and this is going to be our amazing seasoning the cumin adds a nice earthy flavor so we're just going to mix that together and get it all over perfect so we're going to do both sides just like we did with the salt so what you can do is you can do this right before you want to smoke it which is what we're going to do today but you can also pop it into the fridge for overnight four hours a couple of hours whichever um it's a complete myth about salting meat first making it dry out when you cook it actually kind of does the opposite and works like a wonderful brine so we're going to pop that in there so that we can transport it to the barbecue. So we're going to make the barbecue sauce now that's going to go with our amazing goat tacos. So it's a Kansas City style barbecue. That's the classic sort of ketchup, vinegar, any other one. Uh, this is a super simple recipe and it tastes so good. So I always just make it myself, but you can sub in your favorite store-bought one if you like. Uh, we're going to start, obviously, with ketchup. Got a nice big, uh, 500 grams of ketchup. Got some 
tomato puree, which is going to amp up that tomato flavour. Scoop of that. Garlic granules. Tablespoon of those. And some French gel mustard. Just a little bit of that. Add a pinch of salt. And with everything. Cider vinegar. Half of what's in here. Plenty of that. That's what's going to give us our nice sharpness. And then some brown sugar. Put that in. This sauce is really quite easy to burn. Uh, trust me, I've burned many batches. Um, so, what I always do is I add my water now and then I give it a really, really good stir and I combine before I put it on the heat. I'm going to pop that on the heat and what we're going to do is bring it up to a boil. I'll bring that over here. On. So we just put this on a high heat to start with. And while it comes up to the boil, I'm just going to stir it all the time. I won't take very long. So while our barbecue sauce is reducing, we're going to make our quick pickled onions, which are going to go um, on our tacos at the end. Beautiful little bright flavour. It's going to cut through the rich goat. Now keep in the fridge for a good week. So in this bowl we have got coriander seeds and black peppercorns and you just want to toast those to bring out the flavour basically. I'm going to tip them into a nice dry pan and pop that on the heat. Once you've heard them um, you know, sort of sizzling, popping a little bit and they're good to go. So once they get nice and hot they'll start to dance around in the pan a little bit and you'll smell them. That's what we're looking for. There we go, they're starting to, to move around, you can see that. And you can really smell them as well, you see they've got a little bit of toasty colour on the coriander seeds. Excellent, so I'll give that a little... Yeah, that smells really good, so very good. I'm just going to turn that off. Alright, so, and in with our um, peppercorns, and coriander seeds, we're going to add some sugar, some dried chilli, um, you can use chilli flakes, whatever you like really, but we've got these really nice um, ring of fire peppers, they're quite spicy, I really like that kick, they're just like a dried chilli slice, I'm going to put a nice pinch of those in there as well, give that a shake, then we're going to add about 200 ml of cider vinegar, put that in, there we go, it's roughly about half the amount of vinegar in water, give that a little shake and I'll put on the heat, I'm going to bring that up to a boil and take it off, shouldn't take too long. We're just going to give it about one minute to simmer there just to make sure it brings all the flavours out of those chilies. We don't want really to reduce it too much, we want to keep the liquid. Okay, so once that's had like five or ten minutes um, just to infuse, we're going to strain it over our onions. There we go. Those little mixes, you'll see straight away they kind of go this delicate little pink colour. If you like them really really pickled then you can cover them up so that it keeps all the heat in the bowl. Um, if you like them nice and delicate just leave them to one side like that and they'll be good to go. So we're going to make our Dolce de Leche barbecue sauce now. We've got our barbecue sauce ready over there. What you can do is if you've made it in advance and it's been in your fridge for a few days it's even better. Um, but we're just going to use the one we just made. And we've got Dolce de Leche. I talked about the Cajeta sauce from earlier, which is made with goat's milk. And they reduce it down with sugar and cinnamon to make a sauce which is called Cajeta, which is very, very similar to Dolce de Leche. Um, that takes ages. We're going to use this so much easier. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a couple of nice big spoons of this amazing 
Dutch insulation, this is one of the nicest ones I've tried. It's so sticky. It's a little bit darker than your normal Dutch insulation, which can be a bit bland. So we've got that right there. And what we're going to do is we've got our barbecue sauce. I'm going to add about an equal amount of barbecue to Dolce de Leche. Okay. Just add a bit more. You'll see we get this absolutely lovely sauce. Okay. I want to get a close up of this and then. Right, let, me, let me just taste that to see if I'm happy with how much barbecue we've got in. Oh, it's so good. It's that sweet and sour. There we go. There's a tiny bit of barbecue. And we'll add another pinch of salt as well because salt will bring out all those sour flavours. As you can see, the perils of living in London, we're in North London at the moment and you can hear all this lovely construction work going on around us, so just ignore that. Okay, so we are now all ready to go. Our uh, temperature is up at about 130, almost at 140. What we're going to do is we're going to put the goat on top of that. Let me just grab the goat. Pop you on there. Give it a little base. So, there we go lid on i'll get that sealed up we'll let that come back up to temperature and we'll come back to it in about 20 minutes so as i mentioned earlier having moisture in the smoker is super important but it's also really important to keep the meat itself moist during the cooking process that helps keep the structure of the outside open so it absorbs more of the smoke and also it stops it from drying out so periodically throughout the smoke it's good to mist with water we just give it a good spray all over and pop the lid back on. If you do that every time you want to check the meat, just say every 30 minutes or so, that'd be perfect. So we know from our meter that our goat has reached that stall. So it's been cooking for about two hours now and it's the temperature's leveled off. It's definitely taken on enough smoke. I'm happy with that. You could smoke it all the way through for the four hours, but for me, that becomes a little bit too smoky. Um, so I like it at about two hours. So we're just gonna lift the lid off there. See, it's looking good. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna wrap it. Pop it on there. So pink butcher paper is really important. You'll see it a lot. If you've watched any of the you know, barbecue programs, or get any of the books um, you'll see that all the sort of American barbecue chefs use this pink butcher paper why is it pink it's pink because it's unbleached therefore it's food safe I only learnt that relatively recently you can get other stuff that's cheaper that's bleached you don't want to be wrapping your food in that sticks in a nice pink butcher's paper wrap it up put it back on your barbecue wrapping it is going to create that nice oven effect so it's going to push the meat up through the stall and finish cooking it so that it's nice and tender and we'll be able to pull it in order to put it into our tacos now here's something that you won't find in other barbecue guides if the weather is against you or now you'd like to go and have a shower and relax for a bit before your friends come to eat it you've wrapped it up in this pink butcher's paper now so you're not adding any more smoke to it so break the rules do what all the other barbecue things don't tell you you could pop it in the oven right now if you wanted if you wanted to get it out of the sun pop it in the oven until it's really nice and tender you won't know the difference so our goat has now reached the temperature we wanted it to about 89 90 degrees it's had a little rest in its paper and it is ready for us to pour to pop in our tacos look how juicy and tender that is we're going to pull that ready to go in our tacos okay so here we have it we've got our lovely amazing pomegranate molasses rubbed pulled smoked goat our pickled onions this is what they look like after about four hours in that pickle just there and our cajeta barbecue sauce that's just some regular barbecue sauce right there and we've got these beautiful 
corn tortillas. Now scoop that up, fill it up with some goat. Nice pile of goat. Yeah. Nice big scoop of that sauce. Make a mess as always. And some pickled onions. I'm a pickled onion fan, I'm gonna have loads. So there we have it, that is our amazing smoked pulled pomegranate molasses goat shoulder tacos with dolce de leche barbecue sauce and quick pink pickled onions.